welcome to St. John's Church on Monday, November 30th, the Feast of St. Andrew, the first apostle called by Jesus. Uh, morning prayer begins on page 3 of the Book of Common Prayer. The Lord is in his holy temple, but all the earth keeps silence before him. O send out thy light and thy truth, that they may lead me, and bring me unto thy holy hill, and to thy dwelling. Let us humbly confess our sins unto Almighty God. Almighty and most merciful Father, we have erred and strayed from thy ways like lost sheep. We have followed too much the devices and desires of our own hearts. We have offended against thy holy laws. We have left undone those things which we ought to have done, and we have done those things which we ought not to have done. There is no help in us, but Thou, O Lord, have mercy upon us, miserable offenders. Spare Thou those, O God, who confess their faults. Restore Thou those who are penitent, according to Thy promises declared unto mankind. In Christ Jesus, our Lord, and grant, O most merciful Father, for His sake, that we may hereafter live a godly, righteous, and sober life, the glory of thy holy name. Amen. O Lord, we beseech thee, absolve thy people from their offenses, that through thy bountiful goodness we may all be delivered from the bands of those sins which by our frailty we have committed. Grant this, O Heavenly Father, for the sake of Jesus Christ, our blessed Lord and Savior. Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. O Lord, open thou our lips. And our mouth shall show forth thy praise. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Ghost. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without the end. Amen. Praise ye the Lord. The Lord's name be praised. The Lord is glorious in his saints. O come, let us adore him. O come, let us sing unto the Lord. Let us heartily rejoice in the strength of our salvation. Let us come before his presence with thanksgiving and show ourselves glad in him with songs. For the Lord is a great God and a great King above all gods. In his hand are all the corners of the earth, and the strength of the hills is his also. The sea is his, and he made it, and his hands prepared the dry land. O come, let us worship and fall down, and kneel before the Lord our Maker. For he is the Lord our God, and we are the people of his pasture, and the sheep of his hand. O oh, worship the Lord in the beauty of holiness. Let the whole earth stand in awe of him. For he cometh, for he cometh to judge the earth, and with righteousness to judge the world, and the peoples with his truth. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Ghost. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. The Lord is glorious in his saints. O oh, come, let us adore him. The Psalms appointed for the Feast of St. Andrew can be found on page 362 and 363 of the Book of Common Prayer, Psalms 19 and Psalms 20. The heavens declare the glory of God, and the firmament showeth his handiwork. One day telleth another, and one not certify another. There is neither speech nor language, but their voices are heard among them. Their sound is gone out into the land their words into the ends of the world. In them hath he set a tabernacle for the sun, which cometh forth as a bridegroom out of his chamber, and rejoiceth as a giant to run his course. It goeth forth from the uttermost parts of heaven, and runneth about unto its end of it again. And there is nothing hid from the heat thereof. The law of the Lord is an undefiled law, converting the soul. The testimony of the Lord is sure, and giveth wisdom unto the simple. The statutes of the Lord are right, and rejoice the heart. The commandment of the Lord is pure, and giveth light unto the eyes. The fear of the Lord is clean, and endureth forever. The judgments of the Lord are true, and right.
righteous altogether. More to be desired are they than gold, yea, much fine gold, sweeter also than honey and the honeycomb. Moreover, by them is thy servant taught, and in keeping of them there is great reward. Who can tell how oft he offendeth, or cleanse thy me from my secret faults? Keep thy servant also from presumptuous sins, lest they get the dominion over me. So shall I be undefiled and innocent from the great offense. Let the words of my mouth and the meditation of my heart be always acceptable in thy sight, O Lord, my strength and my redeemer. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Ghost. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. The Lord hear thee in the day of trouble. The name of the God of Jacob defend thee. Send thee help from the sanctuary, and strengthen thee out of Zion. Remember all thy offerings, and accept thy burnt sacrifice. Grant thee thy heart's desire, and fulfill all thy mind. We will rejoice in thy salvation, and triumph in the name of the Lord our God. The Lord perform all thy petitions. Now know I that the Lord cometh his anointed, and will hear him from his holy heaven, even with the wholesome strength of his right hand. Some put their trust in chariots, and some in horses, but we will remember the name of the Lord our God. They are brought down and fallen, but we are risen and stand upright. Save, Lord, and hear us, O King of heaven, when we call upon thee. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Ghost. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Here we get at the 20th verse of the 8th chapter of the prophet Zechariah. Thus saith the Lord of hosts, it shall yet come to pass that there shall come people and the inhabitants of many cities and the inhabitants of one city shall go to another saying, let us go speedily to pray before the Lord and to seek the Lord of hosts. I will go also. Yea, many people and strong nations shall come to seek the Lord of hosts in Jerusalem and to pray before the Lord. Thus saith the Lord of hosts, In those days it shall come to pass that ten men shall be taken whole out of the languages of the nations and even shall take hold of the skirt of him that is a Jew, saying, We will go with you, for we have heard that God is with you. Here endeth the first lesson. The Te Deum Laudamus can be found on page 10 of the Book of Common Prayer. We praise thee, O God. We acknowledge thee to be the Lord. All the earth must worship thee, the Father everlasting. To thee all angels cry aloud, the heavens and all the powers therein. To thee cherubim and seraphim continually we cry. Holy, 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 Lord God of Sabaoth. Heaven and earth are full of the majesty of thy glory. The glorious company of the apostles praise thee. The goodly fellowship of the prophets praise thee. The noble army of martyrs praise thee. The holy church throughout all the world doth acknowledge thee. The father of an infinite majesty. Thy adorable true and only son. Also the Holy Ghost, the comforter. Thou art the king of glory, O Christ. Thou art the everlasting son of the father. When thou tookest upon thee to deliver man, thou didst humble thyself to be born of a virgin. When thou hast overcome the sharpness of death, thou didst open the kingdom of heaven to all believers. Thou sittest at the right hand of God in the glory of the Father. We believe that thou shalt come to be our judge. We therefore pray thee, help thy servants, whom thou hast redeemed with thy precious blood. Make them to be numbered with thy saints in glory everlasting. O Lord, save thy people and bless thy heritage. Govern them and lift them up forever. Day by day we magnify thee. And we worship thy name ever, world without end. Thou save, O Lord, keep us this day without sin. O Lord, have mercy upon us, have mercy upon us. O Lord, let thy mercy be upon us, as our trust is in thee. O Lord, in thee have I trusted, let me never be confounded.
20th verse of the 12th chapter of the Gospel of St. John. And there were certain Greeks among them that came up to worship at the feast. The same came therefore to Philip, which was at Bethsaida of Galilee, and desired him, saying, Sir, we would see Jesus. And Philip cometh and tells Andrew, and again Andrew, and Philip tells Jesus. And Jesus answered them, saying, The hour is come that the Son of Man should be glorified. Verily, verily, I say unto you, except a corn of wheat fall into the ground and die, it abideth alone. But if it die, it bringeth forth much fruit. He that loveth his life shall lose it. He that hateth his life in this world shall keep it unto life eternal. And if many man, any man serve me, let him follow me. And where I am, there also shall be my servants. If any man serve me, let my father, him will my father honor. Now this is my soul's trouble. And what shall I say? Father, save me from this hour. But for this cause came I into this hour. Father, glorify thy name. Then there came a voice from heaven saying, I have both glorified it and will glorify it again. And the people thereof stood by and heard it and said it thundered. Others said, An angel spake to him. Jesus answered and said, This voice came not because of me, but for your sakes. Now is the judgment of the world. Now shall come the prince of this world to be cast out. And I, if I be lifted up from earth, will draw all men unto me. Here ends the second lesson. Benedictus can be found on page 14 of the Book of Common Prayer. Blessed be the Lord God of Israel, for he hath visited and redeemed his people. And he has raised up a mighty salvation for us in the house of his servant David. As he spake by the mouth of his holy prophets, which have been since the world began. That we should be saved from our enemies and from the hand of all that hate us. To perform the mercy promised to our forefathers and to remember his holy covenant. To perform the oath which he swore to our forefather Abraham, that he would give us. That we, being delivered out of the hand of our enemies, might serve him without fear. In holiness and righteousness before him all the days of our life. And thou, child, shalt be called the prophet of the highest, for thou shalt go before the face of the Lord to prepare his ways. To give knowledge of salvation unto his people for the remission of their sins. Through the tender mercy of our God, whereby the day spring from on high hath visited us. To give light to them that sit in darkness and in the shadow of death, and to guide our feet into the way of peace. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Ghost. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Standing to face the altar, let us confess our faith in the words of the Apostles' Creed. I believe in God, the, the Father, Father Almighty, Maker of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Ghost, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, dead, and buried. He descended into hell. The third day he rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven and sitteth on the right hand of God the Father Almighty. From thence he shall come to judge the quick and the dead. I believe in the Holy Ghost, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. We'll be using the prayers for evening prayer found on page 30 of the Book of Common Prayer. The Lord be with you. And with thy spirit. Let us pray. O Lord, show thy mercy upon us. And grant us thy salvation. O Lord, save the state. And mercifully hear us when we call upon thee. Endue thy ministers with righteousness. And make thy chosen people joyful. O Lord, save thy people. And bless thy inheritance. 
Give peace in our time, O Lord. For it is thou, Lord, only that makest us dwell in safety. O God, make clean our hearts within us. And take not a Holy Spirit from us. Returning to page 17. Almighty God, who didst give such grace unto thy holy apostle, St. Andrew, that he readily obeyed the calling of thy Son, Jesus Christ, and followed him without delay, grant unto us all that we, being called by thy holy word, may forthwith give up ourselves obediently to fulfill thy holy commandments. Through the same Jesus Christ, our Lord, to whom with thee and the Holy Ghost be ever one God, world without end. Amen. Amen. O God, who art the author of peace and lover of concord, in knowledge of whom standeth our eternal life, whose service is perfect freedom, defend us, thy humble servants, in all assaults of our enemies, that we, surely trusting in thy defense, may not fear the power of any adversaries, through the might of Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. O Lord, our Heavenly Father, almighty and everlasting God, who has safely brought us to the beginning of this day, defend us in the same with thy mighty power, and grant that this day we fall into no sin, neither run into any kind of danger, but that all our doings, being ordered by thy governance, may be righteous in thy sight. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. O Lord our Governor, whose glory is in all the world, we commend this nation to thy merciful care, that being guided by thy providence, we may dwell secure in thy peace. Grant to the President of the United States, and to all in authority, wisdom and strength to know and to do thy will. Fill them with the love of truth and righteousness, and make them ever mindful of their calling to serve this people in thy fear. Through Jesus Christ our Lord, who liveth and reigneth with thee in the Holy Ghost, one God, world without end. Amen. Almighty and everlasting God, from whom cometh every good and perfect gift, send down upon our bishops and other clergy, and upon the congregations committed to their charge, the helpful spirit of thy grace, and that they may truly please thee, pour upon them the continual dew of thy blessing. Grant this, O Lord, for the honor of our advocate and mediator, Jesus Christ. Amen. O God, the creator and preserver of all mankind, we humbly beseech thee for all sorts and conditions of men, that thou wouldst be pleased to make thy ways known unto them, thy saving help unto all nations. More especially we pray for thy holy church universal, that it may be so guided and governed by thy good spirit, that all who profess and call themselves Christians may be led into the way of truth, and hold the faith in unity of spirit, in the bond of peace, and in righteousness of life. Finally, we commend to thy fatherly goodness all those who are in any ways afflicted or distressed in mind, body, or estate. That it may please thee to comfort and relieve them according to their several necessities, giving them patience under their sufferings, and a happy issue out of all of their afflictions. And this we beg for Jesus Christ's sake. Amen. I bid your prayers for the repose of the souls of the faithful departed. Rest eternal grant unto them, O Lord. And let light perpetual shine upon them. May they rest in peace. Amen. Almighty God, Father of all mercies, we thy worthy servants, to give thee most humble and hearty thanks for all thy confidence and loving kindness to us and to all men. We bless thee for our creation, preservation, and all the blessings of this life, but above all for thy inestimable love in the redemption of the world by our Lord Jesus Christ, for the means of grace and for the hope of glory. And we beseech thee, give us that due sense of all thy mercies, that our hearts may be unfeignedly thankful, and that we show forth thy praise, not only with our lips, but in our lives, by giving up ourselves to thy service, and by walking before thee in holiness and righteousness all our days. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord. 
to whom is the need and the Holy Ghost, be it all honor and glory, world without end. Amen. Almighty God, who has given us grace, at this time with one accord to make our common supplications unto thee, and dost promise that when two or three are gathered together in thy name, thou wilt grant their requests. Fulfill now, O Lord, the desires and petitions of thy servants, as may be most expedient for them granting us in this world knowledge of thy truth, and in the world to come, life everlasting. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the fellowship of the Holy Ghost, be with us all evermore. Amen.